Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And we, we are, are Paro DJ. DJ. Welcome to our wrap-up video for Sunscape Akumal. Crazy. I know. We Already. Do, we do one of these after every trip. You know, I got my notes on my phone. We're ready to say a whole bunch of words. And things and stuff. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of topics to cover. If you're maybe only interested in one or two topics, I try to put a little thing down in the description where you can click and there's like a table of contents. You can jump to any particular topic. So clever. I try to be, <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is an all-inclusive resort. I always start with that same sentence, which includes most of your food and drink, mm -hmm. alcoholic and otherwise. It is. Oh yeah, we love stuff with included. <laughs> uh, it's a very small resort property, yep. easy to learn. Yeah, very easy. Took like two minutes and we're like, cool, I got it. <laughs> uh, and this is part of the AM Resorts family, which I don't, what are some of their other cool names? Secrets, now, all those big ones you okay. hear about all the time. Yeah, there's more than that. All right. Breathless, I think. Yeah. Big family of all properties. Those. Mm -hmm. but anyway, Sunscape. <laughs> Uh, so let's start off with food options. Um, breakfast and lunch were typically had at the Windows Buffet. Yep. And it was part grab and go, like there were little salad things. Well, that was more for lunch, but yeah. Uh, and part assisted service. So right. kind of a, like for breakfast, they would make you omelets. True. Things like that. And um, yeah, then there was just, you grab and go, like you said. Yeah, <laughs> lots of fresh options. I like to see fresh options. Yeah, me too. Uh, dinner, they do have four main a la carte restaurants. Mm -hmm. And they usually had like two of them open each night when we were there. Yeah. Uh, you have Tiki Taco, mm -hmm. which is Mexican. Mexican. Dom, a uh, Demario. I can't even say it right. That was sort of their pizza-driven Italian restaurant. We did not get that. <laughs> uh, Portofino is their like pasta-driven Italian mm -hmm. restaurant because you know more Italian restaurants, more better. And Olive Branch, which is their Mediterranean restaurant, which is kind of Italian <laughs> but kind of more than Italian. It's funny. We're like that's a lot of Italian yeah. slash Mediterranean restaurants, but they're all good. <laughs> yeah, true. But the one fun thing about the Olive Branch is they have something in there called the Wine Cellar, yeah. which we got to explore when we were there. Super special and fun. I know. I guess it. it's like an upcharge um, dining restaurant or dining experience venue. that you can book. Very private. Yeah. It is a venue within a venue. Yeah. But the fun thing about it was, like he said, all the kitchens are interconnected, so you could have like tiki taco food brought into the wine cellar or demario food. You can have pizza. In the I wine guess if cellar. they're open, like if they weren't open that night, that probably is true. Not. But Don't request yeah. that. Yeah. From any I'll have pizza, available open restaurant. <laughs> But that was really cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the pricing is, so just check no. when you get there. But, you know. Maybe not too bad. I know. <laughs> uh, they do have their menus via the QR code. They had a nice little web app that was very handy to use. Yeah, to check out actually. stuff. Um, there was also that little tablet in the room. That was probably in just the for Sun Club. Sun Club. Room. They had tablets that were pretty useful. Yeah, um, otherwise, right. yeah, the app is good. Yeah, we haven't talked. We, there's a section later on where we'll talk specifically about levels, but you're going to hear us say Sun Club a lot. So yeah. basically, there's like a couple of different tiers that you can belong to. Mm -hmm. um, and of course the Wi-Fi was free. I believe that's also a Sun Club only perk it's possibly. everything right now because of Just coronial, the coronial times, times. Mm -hmm. and you need QR codes. And that's okay. uh, every resort we've been to is what we found True. lately. So. But normally Wi-Fi is for Sun Club only included or whatever. That's what their website says. Oh good. Okay. You but, researched. <laughs> yeah, I did a little bit of research. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Uh, for lunch sometimes you can find another daily offering which is over near the infinity pool. Mm -hmm. uh, like we saw what well, was ice cream there one day. Yeah. Uh, burgers and dogs. Fried fish. Fried fish was they good. They do tacos sometimes. Yeah, it was. I like that. That was yeah. Good. So nice other little lunch option, kind of outside, mm -hmm. quick and easy. Uh, for dinner, sometimes that shows up at the buffet. Apparently, the buffet was open one night. We were there. We didn't go. And there's usually another option over near the beach bar, like mm -hmm. we saw a taco station, and there was like a sushi, sushi. station. Yeah. So they do have some other fun mm -hmm. things if you're not into like going into the restaurants and you know being. It's like a pop-up more... restaurant. Papa's restaurant. Pop Papa's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Sun Club level, which we're still in the process of talking about, um, also had an a la carte option typically in one of the restaurants. Mm -hmm. Like when we went, it was the Tiki Taco. For breakfast. Oh, that was for breakfast. Yeah, that's not for dinner. I don't think they did for lunch. No, that was a breakfast type deal. Yeah. So you just kind of, the little guide that they give you, it's called the Sun Dial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that cute? cute? <laughs> um, that you just kind of pay attention to that and they'll guide you through it. Yeah. Also, Sun Club has access to room service included. We definitely use that really part. <laughs> it was great. I don't know, can you buy it if you're not Sun Club or is it literally only Sun Club? That's so I of... imagine you could still purchase it. Okay. Why would they say no? We but don't want your money. I don't know money. for sure because we <laughs> were Sun Club. But like I said, more on that later. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the options that I know of that existed but it was closed when we were there is Barefoot Grill, oh, which yeah. was over near the main pool area. True. 
And is there a, an eating establishment up at the Dino Land? That would be Just something. the little um, food truck. Okay, yeah, there you go. I that don't know cute. of any others, though. Okay, but that was also closed while mm -hmm. we were there. And that's really all I have to say about food. Any other food words? It was all tasty. It was all like, tasty. The buffet actually surprised me. Mm -hmm. The lunch, food, and the desserts, everything was really desserts good. Desserts especially. Yeah, the desserts were good. Real good. <laughs> room service? I mean, normally yeah. room service is like, eh, this was really good. Yeah, we found ourselves yeah. skipping the buffet a lot of days and staying in and it's ordering room service. It know? really was. And we're paying for it, so why not I mean, use that part? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So let's go to bars and drinks. Yeah. Um, the, the for the general level. Now, see here we start getting into levels again. Oops. For everybody, you have access to the Starboard Lobby Bar, mm -hmm. which is in the lobby. Nice big lobby bar. Yeah. You have Manatees, which is the swim up bar at the main pool, which we kept calling the family pool. Yeah. And you've got the Coco Cafe, which is the coffee shop. Now, did they do spiked drinks in the coffee shop? I, I didn't, didn't order it. I didn't see I them. I didn't see them either. Okay, so it might. They might if you ask nicely. Maybe. Just <laughs> they put on a swim out to the pool. Get... <laughs> put on a happy face. Maybe they can spike your drink. But we did not investigate that yeah, when we I don't were there. Know. Oh, and, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Okay, now for the Sun Club level, mm -hmm. you've got the sip and dip, which is the swim up bar at the infinity pool. Correct. Because that's supposed to be a Sun Club only area. Mm -hmm. And you have the Sun Club bar and lounge, which is up on top of the world on like what they call the fourth floor on top of the lobby. What do they call it? Sun Deck, Yeah, Sun Club Lounge is what that. their website calls it. So that's what I call it. And some of the things that were available but closed, or well, I guess I should say they existed, but they were closed when we were there, was Sharky's Bar. Mm -hmm. That was over by the beach. Uh, the Star Struck Bar, which is inside the theater. Right. Uh, the Kids Corner Bar, which was the swim up bar. It looks so cute. It did, over near the family <laughs> pool. And the Flip Flop Bar, which was up at Rex Dino Land. Those were closed. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing is you do get a mini bar in each and every room. But interesting fact about the mini bar. It's weird. So if you're not in Sun Club level, it's filled when you get there uh -huh. with you know, like your typical like couple of bottles of water, yeah. sodas, couple of beers, and once it's gone, it's gone. They do yeah, not refill no refills. it. Sun Club, they will refill it. Refilled not every sure day. Not sure what the whole difference there is, but something to note if that's important to you. Yeah, and now one day even in Sun Club, we didn't get a refill, <laughs> but I think that was just an accident. Yeah, I do but Yeah, refill daily for Sun Club, but yeah. only Sun Club. Strange. But that is all I have for bars and drinks. Any yeah. other interesting features? Coffee shop. Uh, Go there. So, <laughs> it's so, so yeah. nice that it's included. We spent Our like, favorite. we went there like three We times didn't care about today, alcohol. So. We're like, just give us coffee. Yeah, really. It's really. good. Um, water features will be my next zone. Of course, the main water feature is the huge sandy beach. Yes. Uh, yes. It's very sandy, very, very pleasant pretty. on the feet. They do have some rocky snorkeling zones. Not bad, though. Uh, we didn't spend a lot of time in that it water. It was very wavy. Somebody lost her contact. The, the ocean ate her contact. It happens. Uh, and there's also a little pier. We didn't really walk out no, onto the pier. I saw people out there. Yeah, it appeared you could go on the pier. <laughs> it did. We didn't appear to do that. We did not. There's the big main pool, as they call it, with the swim up bar, like mm -hmm. we said earlier, and a huge kids pool zone. There's like multiple pools oh, over so there. Oh, so cool. I know. You there's, could have a bunch of fun with your family. Yeah, right? there's like slides and things to climb and mm -hmm. splashy splashes and mushrooms and who knows what over there. That was huge. That it was, was so really impressive. Good. Yeah. The other one, which I never knew the name of, they call it the relaxing pool. I believe that was the long skinny one that we never went in. Remember, you come out of the coffee shop and we would see it. You could get in that? Yeah, we did. I just do thought it. it was like a water feature. It looked like it belonged to I some mean, special buildings. Yeah, so I guess if you see water, get in it. Yeah, but on the map, <laughs> it's called the relaxing pool and it looks like it's open it's to everybody. It's very skinny. We didn't get in it. Okay. The one that we did get in is called the Core Zone Pool. That was the one where we had our little free spa day. They refer to that on the map as the Core Zone Pool. Love that. Which Core Zone is the teens club. So maybe it was only supposed to be teens. Whatever. There's anyway, no teens. We're teens. <laughs> it's just us. Uh, now that's your general pools. Now in the Sun Club section, you have uh, three pools. There is the one that is called the relaxing pool, mm -hmm. which was the very shallow one that we spent a little bit of time in. There is the Sun Club pool, which is the one that has the waterfall in it ah, with some of those in-water loungers, a little deeper. A little bit deeper. And then the favorite is one Infinity of mine. Pool. Infinity pool. Which is really cool because it has the bar attached to it. That is well. also. Kind of nice. And, yeah. The, it could probably get really crowded if they had a lot of people. It's not huge, but it's so pretty. Yeah. I yeah. think they were at like 27%. Yeah, like there's it's not bad. <laughs> but yeah, the infinity pool. Oh, y'all. Y'all, y'all. Y'all, y'all. 
Uh, you also have the Rex Dino Land Kids Splash mm -hmm. Area, which was open on limited hours when we were there. Yeah. It's normally open more than it, it was. And but, Big Pool, too. Yeah, Big Pool, Splash Zone, Dinosaurs, Video Games. All, all uh, sorts of stuff. Trampoline more. stuff. I know. Yeah. Uh, and there was also a little zigzag pool out front, but from what we can tell, that belongs to some like private condo Next owners. Door. Yeah, so don't go get in the zigzag pool, I don't think. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> yeah, but that's all the water that I had on my brain. Quite a bit, honestly. Everywhere yeah. you look, there was a pool. <laughs> that was the first thing I noticed. We yeah. got there and I'm like, a oh, holy pools. <laughs> All right, my next section is entertainment and miscellaneous facilities. Mm -hmm. So they had a nice schedule of daily activities. Yep. I think you could find them on the app and the tablet, but they had that big board near the cafe. Find the family pool. Yeah, yeah, every time we walked by, we would just read that thing. It showed you the temperature outside and what was going on that mm -hmm. day. Super cool. Um, they had the theater. It was closed except for a few activities. We had karaoke in yeah. there. Um, I don't remember anything else happening in the theater while we were there. No. Okay, so karaoke. <laughs> I'm sure in non coronavirus times. They do shows, I know, yeah. for a fact, yeah. Uh, there was a gym out near the main pool, by appointment only right now, so we could not get in. Darn it. <laughs> I was so looking forward to getting in there, but I did peek in the windows and got yeah. some very glowing. It looked nice. It's shots. smaller, but the resort is not that big, so it's yeah. good. And there is a spa that was actually upstairs in the lobby building. We didn't explore we it. We did not. We walked by it. It's we, there. We said hello to it. <laughs> sure, it's yeah. lovely. Sports area, you've got the tennis courts uh, and a football slash soccer court. Nice out there. tennis courts, too. Yeah, they were green yeah. and the other one was blue. That's. I mean, they look like they were in really good condition. That's my takeaway from yeah. that. Uh, you've got the Explorers Club, which I think was the more younger, kidsy type mm -hmm. zone. And you have Core Zone, which seemed to be more geared teens. toward teens. And they were doing that by appointment for the Core Zone because they have like video games in there and things like that. We saw them wiping everything down and checking yeah. people in, so yeah. Yeah, a lot of stuff by appointment only, but at least some of the stuff was open. Yeah. Speaking of open, the things that were closed were the Starlight Disco. Yeah. Never really saw anything happen in there, but the garden was open. So we we saw the Super Bowl out in the Starlight Garden. I'm sure it was cool. Yeah, I like dancing. <laughs> and the Casa Maya over at Rex Dino Land. I don't know what that is. It's a little building. Oh, it's a little hut. Uh huh. We saw it. And then they it. had a fire pit outside. It looked cool. Okay. No idea what they do there. Me neither. But fire it was pit closed. Thing. So Maybe they sing Kumbaya. I roasted dinosaurs singing Kumbaya. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, no. uh, but that was it for my whatever that section is called. <laughs> so anyway, I guess now, since we've said Sun Club a hundred times in this video, <laughs> let's get into the different levels and room categories. A little bit uh, uh, interesting. Yeah. So there's two levels. There is non-Sun Club mm -hmm. and there's Sun Club. <laughs> That's, That's easy. It. So the Sun Club, according to their website, comes with personalized check-in and check-out and concierge service. Can't vouch for that. Yeah. <laughs> Preferential status and amenities, which is why I think we got that cute bag of stuff yeah. in our room. Uh, private Sun Club lounge, which is adults only. Upgraded mini bar service, refresh daily, and bath amenities. They don't That's refresh true. those daily, but anyway. No, yeah. I'm sure if we'd use them, they might have. They might. <laughs> daily hors d'oeuvres, desserts, fine liquors served up in that lounge. Yeah. Uh, we did peek at those. I didn't really eat them. No. Complimentary newspaper. Who we didn't ask. Nobody them. reads. <laughs> Cartoons available in the room. That is. I like, thought that was the funniest thing. There are. There's hurt. like six channels with cartoons on them. So. so but they withhold cartoons no, from I, the non Sun Club <laughs> people. I doubt they. Well, you know what? They might. You know what? If I'm paying Sun Club for cartoons, I want my exclusive cartoons. <laughs> uh, milk and cookies and other special treats. They weren't doing that gotcha. at that time. Room service from 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 11 p.m. Uh, complimentary Wi-Fi for two devices. That's why. Ah. See, Sun Club, it says. And gotcha. the other point that I wanted to make is there are no wristbands None. at this property. Yeah. So I don't know how they know who's Sun Club and who's not Sun Club. It's weird. Yeah. I yeah. know to get up to the Sun Club, like to get to the elevator, if yes. you take the elevator, you do have to use your room key, but there's stairs. Right. I'm it's not like, saying to do that. No, no, but when you go to the top of the stairs, the door is typically closed and you have to use your key to access. It was, it was wide open when we yeah. were there. But you do, are supposed to use your key to access certain areas. But like the and infinity pool. pool and the swim up bar. I mean, personally, I wouldn't care. Me neither. Was there, but that's but, the stuff. You know. <laughs> like, oh, well. There was no wristbands. We so. went to their side. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Um, anyway, but room types. I thought we would run through that really mm -hmm. quickly. So the different types of rooms you can get, usually from the least expensive up, is Deluxe Tropical View. These are non-Sun Club rooms. Deluxe Pool View, which it says, select rooms have direct access to pool. Ah, That's okay. one of those ones where if you book a Deluxe Pool View, you could be on the second or third floor with no access to the pool, but you overlook it. Or if you're on the first floor, you have like a walkout. Like and They also have like uh, jacuzzi tubs outside, I saw, on the oh. ground floor on certain ones. I'm sure you have to book that category. Gotcha. Um, they look cool. Deluxe Partial Ocean View and Deluxe Ocean Front. So you have four different categories for non-Sun Club. 
Gotcha. The Sun Club really was not that much more. Mm -mm. So you have the base level is called Sun Club Pool View, mm -hmm. and that also says select rooms have direct pool access, so the same deal. Yeah. Sun Club Junior Suite Ocean View, Sun Club Ocean Front, see now we're getting to the good stuff. Sun Club Junior Suite Ocean Front, which is where we ended up yeah. staying. It says in room whirlpool or tub, private terrace or balcony. See, that's confusing. Yeah, because you've heard what about that room type? I've heard that if you book Oceanfront Junior Suite, you mm. could end up on the first, second, or third floor. So you might could not have wrong, the valley bed. But you don't have a balcony on the second or third floor. It's I think it used to be, but mm. it's literally a glass pane, floor to ceiling, gorgeous, mind you, but no, no outside space. See, I wonder if that's what they call Sun Club Ocean Front. We're confused about some. I just I, I think go, you're right. I go by the pictures on the website. Maybe and the it junior looks, suite is guaranteed to be on the ground floor. That's why we're confused. But there's only like six of them. Aren't we frequently confused? I just don't want somebody to book the wrong room if yeah. they're wanting like what they saw. But I know positively <laughs> the one we had was called Sun Club Junior Suite Ocean Front. Yeah. And you might want to call or I write would. them and say, Can I please have ground floor just to make sure you get the valley bed? <laughs> It's the most requested room. Yeah. Is what they told us. Uh, I believe it. Then past that, they have Sun Club Master Suite, Ocean View with pun Plunge Pool. We saw those. And they have Sun Club Presidential Suite, and it says it has a private terrace and a private pool. And from the pictures on the website, that's the one up on the top floor. By the Sun Club. Yes. Place. So that's the fancy, fancy. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Moving on to my next section, which is booking and cost. How did we book? How much did we pay? All of those questions the inquiring minds want to know. Mm -hmm. So we booked directly with the resort. We actually booked it in early January and we booked a Sun Club pool view room, which right. was the lowest cost Sun Club option. Mm -hmm. We paid $832, which works out to $208 total. That's per night total, not per person. Does not include flights, no. but it does include free airport transfers. It does. Ooh, I love it when they yeah, do that. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we, when we checked in, got upgraded on the spot, apparently, to Sun Club Junior Suite Oceanfront. Mm -hmm. uh, no additional charge to us. Um, I, that's inexplicable, but it was a very welcome uh, it surprise. It was nice. And I was not expecting that no, at all. not at all. Sort of flabbergasted. Um, but I priced, uh, looking ahead at similar dates to where we stayed, looking ahead at 2022. The pricing is $266 per night for your basic Sun Club, the like the type of room that we book. So I can't even find the rates we got uh, for the for well, the future. Everything's jumping now. Yeah. Yeah. But it's $266 for the type of room that we actually booked versus $324 for the actual type of room that we got. So it's about a $60 per night upgrade. It's not terrible. It's really not bad. <laughs> like, for the room know, we got. If you're gonna spend a lot of time in the room you. and use the valley bed if you get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would yeah, definitely. So even at $320. $24 a night. I was looking at next January. That's not bad. No. But anyway, so it's it's definitely more of a mid-range to upper for of the oh, five yeah. resorts we visited. It's is sort of a more top tier type of thing. For sure. Holy moly. <laughs> Uh, tipping, everybody always asks about tipping, and we've talked about it a hundred times. Tips are usually built in when you go to a resort like this. You're not expected to tip, they but they appreciate, appreciate it. it. And we always just do U.S. dollars, mm -hmm. no need to convert to pesos, and just as you go, right. in cash, however you see fit. Yep, they work hard. They do. Uh, would we pick Sunscape Akumal again? Yeah. <laughs> I think we said that. The end. <laughs> Yes, one of the main things I really liked about it is you don't have to make reservations for dinner. That's true. At any AM resorts, I think that's just like a thing they do. Mm. Um, you know, so you don't have to worry about it. If a restaurant's open, go show up and get in line, you know. It's kind of cool. That is handy. Yeah. Yeah, my notes were that it was a nice small property. The mm -hmm. buffet was small but decent and we yeah. used room service a lot. <laughs> uh, dinner was good. It's fantastic for families with kids yes. because that huge kids play area and the dino land. Yeah. That's really, I think the strongest draw was families with kids in my mm. mind. Free airport shuttle, always a bonus. Got to watch a movie in the I car. Know. <laughs> and they're currently offering on-site at least testing. rapid testing, which is a requirement to get back into the U.S. right now. That's a big one. It yeah. is. And they probably offer the more fancy tests at a cost, but they are including the cost of the rapid test anyway. Yeah. Um, flying to Mexico, we've got a whole separate video about that, so I don't really dwell on that too much. Just look up our video called New International Air Travel Requirements from February 23rd, 2021. <laughs> One point of interest, I guess, uh, as we're recording this, it is early April, and I know Mexico has just instated a new tax on people, right? It's yes. a tourist tax. Uh -huh. I believe it is about $11, yep. no matter Perfect. how long you're going to stay, but do you, if you're going to Mexico, at least as of early April 2021, expect to pay an additional $11 per person. 
I think they said they can collect it from you at the airport or, or you, you can, can pay, pay it online yeah. ahead of time. But yeah, just a little tiny extra cost, mm -hmm. at least in the, at the time we're making this video. That would rack up. Lots yeah, of people. Yeah, have a lot of people, but at least it's not like eleven dollars a day that no, I can understand. No, no. It's literally you could stay probably a month and it's eleven dollars, yeah. or you could stay two days and it's eleven. I'd work for the Mexican government in general. This like, is true. Yeah. Wow. This is true. But <laughs> that is it for Sunscape Akamo. Holy moly! Yeah. So. Ooh. Good time, really good, good time. for families. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed it. Or if you like the beach. And showers yeah. with fancy buttons. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, if you like the beach. Nice sandy beaches. For sure. But yeah, that is it. So I guess if you missed any of the vlogs from our travel series, they are available on the channel in a nice handy dandy playlist. I'll try to link that below. But if you have not already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Become a Paromaniac today. Socialize all our media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep, and until next time, rock, rock on. on.